man charged in apparent Trump plot wrote this was an assassination attempt. No, he didn't. Court filing shows. The suspect in the second assassination attempt against former President Trump has now released a letter um, talking about what he was doing that day. This is a written note submitted as part of the government filing today. Ralph says, quote, dear world, this was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, but I am so sorry I failed you, adding that he believes Trump is unfit to be anything, much less a president. He looks like a disgraced game show host. I don't know whether to spin the wheel or buy him a cup of hot soup. Boy, Trump sure knows how to draw in the loonies, doesn't he? Either they want to hug him or they want to slug him. There is no middle ground to the obsession that people have for that man. Either way, I'd like to solve the puzzle now. Blonde have more fun. The man charged in connection with an apparent assassination attempt against Donald Trump in Florida this month dropped off at a home a box with a letter that declared this was an assassination attempt. A court document revealed Monday. What did he have to remind himself? The note was made public in a U.S. district court filing asking that Ryan Wesley Roof 58 be held in pretrial detention. Later on Monday, a judge ordered he would remain in jail pending trial. Law enforcement was contacted September 18th by a civilian who said that Ruth had dropped off a box at his residence several months earlier, the filing said. The witness opened the box after learning of the September 15th incident at Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach, Florida. The box contained ammunition, four phones, and letters. The words he used shows that he knew what he was doing. This was premeditation. This was thought out. This wasn't just a guy just decided to do something crazy. He didn't know the difference between right and wrong. He's apologizing for not doing it and hoping someone else does it. And then he fled. So it looks like he did know that what he did was wrong and against the law. That's a friend for you. We'll drop off everything. We'll drop off the bullets. We'll drop off the manifesto. We'll drop off the burner phones. We'll drop off everything but that 50 bucks that he owes you. What was this guy supposed to do with that box? He left them the box of evidence like he was supposed to take up the mantle in case he fit failed in his assassination attempt and he failed because he's a loser one handwritten letter addressed to the world said this was an assassination attempt on donald trump but i failed you yeah well you're an idiot the letter said in part he ended relations with iran like a child and now the middle east has unraveled i would like for one day for these armchair presidents and these armchair politicians to be in a position to have to make the tough call just one time roof was a arrested September 15th after a Secret Service agent moving ahead of the former president as he was golfing at Trump International Golf Club spotted the partially obscured face of a man in a brush along the fence line, just a blonde haired man amongst the backdrop of leafy greens and the barrel of a rifle aimed directly at him. The agent fired at the man who fled. He was spotted by a witness and was soon after arrested on Interstate 95. Ruth has sent since been charged with possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, an unbathed convicted felon, in possession of a firearm with an obliterated serial number. The FBI searched Ruth's Nissan Xterra and found six cell phones, one of which contained a Google search of how to travel from Palm Beach County to Mexico. That's what did it for you. That's what pissed you off. That's the straw that broke the camel's back foreign relations. I don't care what side of the aisle you vote on. Each candidate should be able to run their campaign successfully without having their lives threatened and especially not from some yokel with a massive overbite hopped up on sensationalized 24-hour news cycles calling calamity. Further on multiple days and times from August 18th, 2024 to September 15th, 2024, Roof's cell phone access cell towers located near Trump International and the former president's residence at Mar-a-Lago, the filing said, also found in the vehicle were 12 pairs of gloves. What did you have, an octopus for an accomplice? A Hawaii driver's license and Roof's name, what it didn't say, McLovin? Passport and documents. One of the documents was a handwritten list of dates in August, September, and October, and venues where Trump had appeared or was expected to. He was stalking him. Agents also found a notebook with dozens of pages filled with names and phone numbers about Ukraine, discussions on how to join the fight on behalf of Ukraine, and notes criticizing the Chinese and Russian government. Well, 
he just made his confession and that's going to come back to haunt him because now i do think it makes it more likely that the feds could charge him more serious crimes so this is going to work against him in various ways and another way is that it undermines his insanity defense hell if all he wanted to do was fight on behalf of the ukraine send him over there let him fight on behalf of the ukraine let him flush out enemy fire you can pack him into a cannon and shoot him at the russians save us some tax paying dollars on his jail cell his defense attorney said ruth's sister is a licensed attorney in north carolina and was willing to house him if he was released on bail you don't deserve the type of people in your life who would do that for you regardless of what you just did ultimately u.s magistrate Magistrate Judge Ryan M. McCabe ruled Ruth would be held pending his trial. He said, nope. Ruth appeared emotionless throughout the hearing, wearing a blue jumpsuit and shackled at his hands and feet. He appeared to nod his head when the defense questioned an FBI special agent about Ruth's social media posts about fighting for Ukraine. Send him over. There you have it, kids. Ryan Wesley Ruth. He looks like he lost his life savings gambling on illegal ferret fights. Tell me your thoughts. See you in the next video.